Hey, groundskeeper here. Uh, today I'm doing a little bit of tree work. I had a tree fall down at a customer's house and uh, I'm going to be cutting that up and I'm using the Ryobi 40 volt cordless chainsaw. This isn't any kind of product uh, sales pitch or anything, but this is a saw that I got recently and I'm using it and I really find it to be a good saw. So I'm going to do a little bit of cutting. You'll see me using it in the field and then I'll show you some of the little features of it that I like. So anyway, here it is. It's a 14 inch bar. It's got the uh, 40 volt battery. This is removable. Slides right on. Easy. It's got a little power button right there so you can check how much power you got left. It's got a chainsaw tool right in the back. It's supposed to pop out real easily. Of course, of course it doesn't, but there it is. Works pretty good. And that uh, sits in there nice like that. And it's got the uh, trigger here with a safety on it like that. It's, it's either on or it's off. There's no, uh, it's got an automatic oiler and it's got the brake thing here too. So that uh, works well. I always recommend, I have eye protection on right now, of course, my safety glasses have the side shields and I recommend wearing a nice pair of gloves, boots, and ear protection as well. Always wear my ear plugs. So I'm going to cut a few branches with this and see how it goes. As you can see, it made short work of that. It's not as fast or as powerful as a commercial chainsaw. This is obviously something the homeowner would use. But uh, as you can see, it does a pretty good job. It's sharp. And one of the greatest things about it is as soon as you're done, it's off. There's no noise. It's uh, not sitting there running. It's easy to use. It's fairly well balanced. It's a little weird, this battery on the side like that, but it does mean that you can look at it and you can see, okay, I'm down to three points of uh, energy bars now instead of four. Uh, the batteries last a fairly long time, depending on what kind of uh, tool you're using. The chainsaw uses up the power pretty quick because it's a lot of work to run that, turn that saw, and a lot of torque needed too
Okay, guys, made short work of that. I'm going to cut a few more branches here, and uh, I'm going to try to cut up these big ones that are laying on the ground, and then we'll carry this stuff over to the log pile. But overall, pretty happy with this. Ryobi tools, uh, they make a good little chainsaw. It's uh, fairly lightweight, and my favorite thing about it, of course, is the fact that it's off whenever you're whenever you're done using it it's off it's not running there's no noise you're not going to trip over a running chainsaw i know that sounds crazy but those kind of things can happen when you're out in the field and uh it's either on or it's off it's on when it's running there's no oil and gas to mix and uh of course it still uses bar oil here and it has an automatic oiler so not like you have to push that thing like some of those old school chainsaws. Uh, overall, I've been pretty happy with it. I don't do a lot of uh, big tree work. I just do little odds and ends. I do a lot of groundskeeping and landscaping and planting and that type of thing. So if I have a really big job, I call some call the experts in. But as far as a homeowner uh, or a guy like me that does little jobs this thing works great and uh, so far i've been very happy with it okay see ya